Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to add a file upload um, field for your form, whichever form that may be. Um, so let's get started. Um, first we come over here to, to plugins in your WordPress website. We'll go to add new and in here we'll search for Forminator so we do need a plugin to be able to do this uh, and you can use any of the the other plugins that you want. Uh, I just use this one because it's it's good and I've had no issue with it. Click on there. Install now. You can see it's installing and then we just click activate. and there we have it it's installed now and we should see it on the side over here and yes so let's just click on that so this is the forminator dashboard um, we can just go and click on create from here we can choose which template we want to use. use um, I think I'll just use contact us or oh, let's do quote re request let's do that continue we call it application form and click create and then the form comes up for us to edit if we come here we can it comes with its own fields already installed in the template services additional notes first name email address but we need um, file upload so we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna click insert field and from here we're gonna pick file upload and say insert so you can either choose if you're going to be using single or multiple if you want to upload a single file or a multiple file um, I'm gonna choose multiple because I want more than one I want the person to be able to upload more than one file go to settings we can choose what our file size limit per file is and I'll just make it 15 megabytes that should be big enough and go through to styling visibility I think that's fine and click apply so now we have the upload file field that's been added <clears throat> just something to note that if you want to reply to this email the f we actually need to just go change that setting to be able to to set it you can change the appearance of it over here change the font change the container and the padding and so on behavior anything that you you want the, the field to do um, email notifications so this is the email admin integrations 
and settings. So once we're done with that and we've added it, we'll go to publish and it'll publish that form for us. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to copy this short code that's copied and we're going to use this in our on our page so then we'll go to pages all pages I'll just go to application form because that's where I want to add it okay so let's go to add block let's go to browse all and then we need to find short code because we want to add that short code in the page and there it is remember guys we're using this is using Gutenberg and cadence short code and then we've added it and then all we need to do here is paste and that should be it you um, remember you're not going to be able to see the form here but if you save it and publish it you'll be able to see it in your preview window so if I go to preview preview in a new tab it will re yes then it will render it in another page and so this is what it looks like so this is the field that we've added to upload a field uh, and this is what the, the form looks like um, looks like we can update the padding on this just to make it look a bit neater but essentially all you have to do is you click on there people will choose something you can click it you can choose another one and when you click submit Oh, I need to add all the other things um, but yeah if you click submit it will send it to your email address and yeah that that's it it's as easy as that um, you can play around with the settings if you go back just to to make it look a bit better can edit it and over here you can you can edit it the way you want it to look you can change the color the font um, the spacing and all of that so yeah hope that helped cheers guys